Good afternoon. Welcome to CNT Collectibles. This is three up and three down where we look at the top three risers and three fallers in baseball card land for the previous week. I don't have anything to cover to say. Do you have anything? What about that joke I told you? A joke. I know. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, uh, not much of an intro today. We'll just get right into it here. Uh, number three riser for the week, or excuse me, faller for the week. You'd expect when I look at the picture of this guy. You know, you would say, you know, the price is rising on this one. But we have been saying to have a little bit of caution here for, for a while. And that is Juan Soto, who is down 44% for the week. I think he was on our, was he our number one faller last week as well? I I know he was a faller, but I don't know if he was yeah. number one. He was up there. I mean, he got knocked down like 50% or something like that. So over the past week, that 2016 Bowman autograph continues to get hammered. But last week, he did exactly the same thing. It was just a straight line down. Yeah, one sale. It's not like there's a ton of these, so it only takes one sale. But all time is crazy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So hold on for a second. Give it a little bit of room here so you can see that we've had well maybe it was a top gain i don't remember um it should be a, a a sale here but anyways he's coming back into this area here and these big spikes which you say don't chase um you can yeah and you can Finn see that's why yes yeah, that's, that's why <laughs> they, they, uh, eventually i mean they can go on for a while but eventually they'll come back to a, a natural level here and heck if you saw uh, back down to this thousand area you know at some point i don't think i'd be super surprised i mean i'd be a little bit surprised but this seems like a you know, you had a couple buys here. You had to sell here. So right in this area, uh, call it that 15, 1600 area. Um, there's there's decent buying support here. So maybe it kind of uh, finds a little bit of support and some some purchases in this area here. But um, if no one steps up to the plate, you're looking at a thousand bucks, and um, I won't be getting my first one seller autograph if that's what happens. But yeah, kind of interesting. So your number one far for the week is uh, down 44 percent, and that is Juan Soto again. He's just. Uh, why can't you just get wait it? till the season starts, man? Why can't you just wait for wait a... the season starts? Why can't you just wait for a cheaper one? That's what I am doing. I'm waiting for a cheaper one. I want it at a thousand bucks, not sixteen hundred. And that's a level where re returns yeah. to the scene of the crime where the breakout is. But wait till the season starts and you start hitting bombs. That card will go back up. So a little little softness heading into a uh, spring training here. Our number three riser for the week is Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. I thought so, he only played basketball. I know, right? So yeah, a lot of lot of uh, rumors about this. He had to leave basketball for for a little while here, and he went to go play, play baseball and he played for the yeah, Chicago White Sox minor league team. And uh, there, there's a lot of conspiracy theories around that. It's kind of an interesting story here. But uh, anyways, yeah, so this is a card that got a lot of hype around the time of his, his uh, you know, the, the Last Dance documentary. And it looks like it's coming back again. So you have one sale that uh, that pushed it up uh, for the week, 75%. And all time is... Yeah, oh, wow. so here's... Uh, so I want to say this is you know, right around the time of the Last Dance. There was a lot of interest in this card. And it held that interest. There was plenty of buying in here. And it goes up to 400 Fair enough. Yeah, there's compression and a price to... spike. But that's a little too much too fast, I think. You're almost so. at $900. Exactly. Too much too fast. And I think you see that thing... Uh, come back down sooner rather than later but again these these things can go on for a while michael jordan cards in general are just going absolutely insane so um like i said parts of the market are in a bubble that's, <laughs> and that's part of the market that's in a bubble but uh there's there's plenty of things to basketball to cards are going way nuts oh they're very nuts there's no question about that all right our number two faller for the week is mr is randy arizona randy arizona yeah this is his chrome monograph i think this is the only card card letter has on there so his other cards probably follow suit here so over the past week he's down 46 percent and that's yeah. a lot of just tiny hills looks like he popped for a while though here because around 100 bucks forever for whatever reason it got up to 200 and then it goes back down to like 120 yeah so it's, yeah, so it's returning in an area that he's been at for for most of the time here since he uh, since he started to break out so you know this is when he started hitting bombs left and right so yeah so this is kind of a kind of an oopsie um it's been in this area forever and if you were looking for one you know try and get one towards the bottom of this range here call it do 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 you know what is that 70, 70 bucks 70. so you even had a fairly recent sale for you know 85, 85. yeah so um, and even right now, 107 bucks. So that's that's kind of the the thing. Now next year, you know, half of everything he hit in the air left the park, which is not a thing. You know, 25, 30 percent is a really good number for it's home run to fly ball it's ratio. It's basically what Aquino did when he first started playing. How'd that work out? Well, not too good. Yeah. But so... he started just hitting bombs, mm -hmm. and that's basically what. Er um, he was on a Ruthian pace, and everybody was looking forward to him Ari last year. Arizona did. Pretty much, pretty much. You know, I, 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 even here, I wouldn't touch it, but if you did want one, I mean, it's kind of returning to a natural level, but that's a little too much there. So, all right, that is your number two faller. 
for the week, and now it's uh, now it's Jeter time. <laughs> I don't know what's uh, what's happened here, but Derek Jeter is going. Now he's a Hall of Famer. He's, you know, I mean, but what what happened recently to really spark yeah. interest in his cards here? This is the gold version. So um, in each in each case that you got, you got one. Uh, I think draft pick gold version, or it may have be a draft pick, just one gold version of it. So these are these are these are not the the regular ones. It has a gold foil where his name is at, and they command. Um, a premium because they're uh, quite it's a bit shorter. So a lot of paint. That is a lot of paint. And there's one thing other. What else? What else? When he steps up to the plate, there's always this saying. Oh right. Derek Jeter. That's right. <laughs> now batting, the shortstop number two, Derek Jeter number two, or something like that. All right. Um. So you had this breakout, this level here, kind of return to that level and. Yeah, messed around for a little bit now boom up 75 percent in the week and again and it's at like 500 dollars now with yeah, that yeah. big so spike what great from is that 200... a PSA, psa 9 yeah because the 10 just goes goes for crazy amounts or whatever uh, so yeah it's at like uh i don't know maybe over a thousand well you know it'd be if if there's a three to one ratio here it should be about a 1500 dollar card so i just think but when you get these price breaks here that relationship kind of gets skewed because it's too much too fast so yeah, i wouldn't do anything with it here <laughs> so um but you know what for the purposes of our game today up 75 percent and winner winner chicken dinner all right our number one follower for the week is Come frank on, robinson robinson in the PSA i don't even know who top. he is oh he was a great player he hit bombs crush it so um i don't know why people are uh, selling them this week but you know and it's not the highest price card and they probably don't come up terribly often by any stretch you can see there's um you know three sales three sales in 2017 three sales in 2018 so it doesn't take much to move the needle on and this one here so you want a frank robinson psa2 you should get a frank robinson and by psa2 because it is in the it's a it's had a, a bit of a steady climb here and you're kind of in that range so this is a little too much and now you're now you're back so but two weeks are like this well two weeks ago or like the last two weeks he's been falling crazy yeah well there's yeah well but that's all time Yep, he's only had the two sales this week. So again, it doesn't come up often enough to really, you know, to, to have a lot of volume to give it a smooth ride. It's going to be choppy, but you know, it's kind of been a level where it's like, all right, you want a Frank Robinson? You know what? You should get yourself a Frank Robinson. All right, number one climber for the week, of is course, Derek Jeter. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So this is the SP foil. Um, I think this is this is the. Uh, I think the preferred card, you know, the top one is the most common or like that, but the collectors, they have to be all fancy and say, well, my preferred card is the one that's really hard to get and you can't afford it. So um, the PSA, or excuse me, the BGS8. So over the past couple of weeks here, he's up 143%. And actually we cheated a little bit because the number two riser technically was the um, was the SP foil PSA6, which was up 91% for the week. So all those SPs are going nuts here. So uh, you had a pretty, uh, pretty steady sideways action here. And then boom, 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 last couple of weeks, nuts. So again, up on 43% for the uh, last week. And all time. Is a same lot thing. Of yeah, it's the same thing. You know, here's a pretty here's a pretty wide base. And the, these bases, you know, when you the more the longer you go sideways, yep, it's like a better that. chance you are of breaking up and out of it. So that's fine. Doesn't you know that it would you break out of this range and go up, that's fine. That would break out of the range and go from what is that, six hundred dollars to about like to twelve hundred dollars to double in the course of a in the course of a month or whatever. That's not fine. <laughs> so you know, here's not. your long base breakout, and then you kind of retest, and you set up your channel, and then you, when you break out, it's like yes, you should go up. You know, kind of a measured move. You know, look at 400, 200, a couple hundred bucks or something like that. So right in here, but this, you know, double off of the thing. So too much, too quick, Mr. Derek Jeter. Um, I mean, he's worthy of it. I'm not gonna argue that, but this quickly, probably. Thanks. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. So, no. all right. So that is three up and three down for the week. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be back at you with our new series starting Wednesday or Thursday. And then we'll do our, our uh, This Week in Baseball Cards Friday or Saturday. Have a great rest of the day and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.